Hello, happy Monday. I am so freaking tired. I'm in the grand lounge right now. Taking advantage of this free coffee. <laughs> I have been teeing since 7.30 a.m. 7.20 a.m. to be exact. Apparently, we need to be there 10 minutes earlier, so I showed up at 7.20. No, to be honest, I was 10 minutes late, but it's fine. That's pretty early. 7.30 a.m. It's 11 right now, I think. Yeah, 11. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna drink this coffee, and then I'm gonna go in the lab, start that drug release experiment, and collect the first time point for the 24 hour. And then I'm gonna go write. I don't think the boss is done with my paper yet, but then I can continue working on my thesis formatting because, oh my gosh, there's so much formatting. Like, ugh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna drink this coffee and I'll see you in the lab. Okay, so I have my frozen cell lysate here. So I'm just gonna thaw this, prepare the solutions for, I think today is red, so they can start incubating. And then after that, I will collect from yesterday's samples. Here are all my calculations. I've just stopped writing things down in my lab notebook and have done everything, <laughs> started to do everything on my laptop. <sighs> okay, okay. I'm just gonna pipette all this now. Well, I forgot. I have to make a stock solution of my internal standard. Okay. Okay, we're good. I need to dissolve this in water. And we have my stock solution. these samples here to freeze and I'm off to lunch <laughs> hello it is so dark outside even though it's only like 5 40 p.m. it looks like it's freaking like midnight or something it has been a few hours of writing in the office oh my gosh it's so dark I say quote unquote writing because I there was no writing that was done it's literally just copying and pasting and formatting because the boss is not done with my paper yet but I think he's working on it because like I can see on the shared drive that like his last saved the time was like 5 20 something so he was working on it just wanted to hop on and document a little bit of what it's looking like right now i think i finally figured out the formatting like oh my gosh this whole formatting the thesis like no dude has single-handedly saved me i think like weeks of time trying to figure out how to use word and like <laughs> use like linking stuff and oh my gosh i feel i feel i feel so inadequate in this regard so i'm super grateful for no jude i'm also feeling super grateful for all of the people that are writing the thesis like their theses with me because there's like a lot of us graduating at the same time and like defending at the same time and like submitting our theses at the same time and it just feels like i'm not doing this alone well obviously i already have no jude like already that's like a bazillion times gonna be better than doing it by myself but then there's people in different labs that are also wrapping up and you know just venting about this talking about our like worries and our futures and like plans and stuff like it's a really great feeling i can't imagine going through this alone <gasps> as i am doing this i have a couple of video ideas let me know what you think about these two ideas one things that you should do early on in your degree that will save your ass when you're writing your thesis there are so many things that i did that i didn't know would save my ass but like um yeah there there are also things i did not do that are not saving me right now and video idea number two is talking about the realities of like the financial situation when you're doing grad school because that's been on my mind a lot lately transitioning to the workforce and you know for the first time having like income it's just there's just a lot that i didn't know about and yeah there's also a lot that people don't really talk about openly and i think it might be a good video to you know share so i think i will film these two so watch out for that i just need to find time to to write it all down and like to plan it all out and film it but i'll see you here tomorrow because we will be continuing to write bye bye Hello.
Hello, happy Tuesday. I'm just waiting for my wonderful laptop to restart again. I don't know what's going on with it these days, but I need to see all the calculations for the dilutions for this final time point for my drug release study. So I'm starting it today so that by the time it's Friday, it will be 72 hours. And then closer to 11.30, I can collect the time point for the one that I started on Sunday that will be collected today for the 48 hour time point. I don't know if any of you do these drug release studies with different uh, starting times. But yeah, it's a staggered kind of situation. Okay, my laptop is finally ready. Let's get to pipetting. Okay, so I still have a little bit of time before I can actually collect my time points So I'm just gonna measure the stability of my particles because they've been stable for a month And when I'm writing up my manuscript, I'm like, okay, they're stable for at least a month And I was like checking it every first every three days and then every week But then I'm like, oh my gosh, they look like they're gonna be stable for so long, so I don't know So I'm gonna check again, so now this is one month, one week If they're still stable, that's fantastic And but then I'm that means I'll have to edit my graph <laughs> on my manuscript, but that's fine. It's great if it's stable for over a month. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so I think it's finally unstable. The size is changing, so I think I can finally stop checking the size every week. Like a month is really good. It's not even like that bad of a, like it's still a particle actually. It's just the size increased. But yeah. Okay. 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 So I actually did go and work up that time point, so I'm just waiting for it. For my timer to go off now, 16 minutes left, and then I can work that up, freeze it, put it in the freezer. And that's all I have planned for experiments today. So I guess back up to the office to write. <laughs> Hello, happy Friday. Happy Friday from home. Hello, Hiro. I... I'm so tired. Yeah, I was at the new company yesterday on Wednesday and I just decided I'm just gonna take it easy today and just write from home. So I do have to go into the lab in the afternoon to finish up the last time points for that drug release study. And yeah, oh yeah, I forgot. So, so basically what you saw with my laptop is me restarting this thing. I think my laptop has lived its life. It's just, it's just, a little bit uh, old and a little bit uh, really uh, doesn't want to work anymore. Anywho, I am going to write and go into the lab in the afternoon and I just wanted to show you something really funny. Like at this point, it's just it's just really funny to me. Okay, one sec. As my laptop is powering up, taking a sweet ass time. One sec, one sec. Okay, so I think I have to blur some of this out or all of it out, but I think you'll be able to see like the color differences. So when the boss and I work on a manuscript, we just, you know, make our edits under the review and like the track changes so we can see everything that was changed. So the black is what I wrote and then the red are like, you know, his edits and whatever he wrote. So you see these two paragraphs here that are like just red? Yeah. Basically, he just went in and like deleted the whole... <laughs> I think he gave up like I think he tried a few times to like make comments and like suggest you know a certain flow But then ultimately like so this was deleted this whole paragraph that I wrote right here on this side was deleted and he wrote it himself So I just I just find that really funny like I think has to be would have been really offended and really sad about it but like now i'm just like okay i'm super grateful because alternatively he could have like passed it back with more comments and like tried to like you know he usually does actually he usually passes it back and like leaves comments and tries to like guide me in that direction and eventually i'll get it but i think this time he just went ahead and did it so i think it's actually more efficient this way but then yeah it's just it's just really funny okay anyways i'm procrastinating at this point I I will get cracking and I'll check in with you later. Bye. All right, I have all of my samples here on dry ice. Should be frozen by now, it's been on there for a while. Yeah. So I'm going to poke a hole, transfer it to here, and then use the other lab's lyophilizer because our lyophilizer is not working. I use this needle here. I don't know if you can see. 
I use this needle to poke a hole into the frozen Eppendorf tube so that it can remove all the aqueous frozen stuff. I don't know. I don't know what I would do. So I turned this on a while ago and it's ready to go. So I'm just gonna put my samples on there quickly before it starts to thaw. Here we go. Oh no. No. Should be upright freaking out because I don't want them to thaw and it'll be so inefficient I have to go back and refreeze it okay so I think like they look fine and yeah once I put on a sample the vacuum like decreases so I'm just gonna stay around and come back and check to make sure this goes up oh no some of them are bubbling okay okay yeah I'm gonna deal with this <laughs> but I think I'm gonna wrap up my vlog here thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye